G'day guys, welcome back. This is just gonna be a little quick video. Uh, I'm not gonna explain every single little thing with this bloom technique. Uh, my other videos, my longer ones, will tell you basically what I'm using. So this is the pillow paint. Let's pop him down first. Nice thick layer. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. What have you had for breakfast? <laughs> All right, let's, enough of that. <laughs> Horrible noises. Now, um, I have got this little U Butte little barbecue fan. I tried it with the nozzle, I didn't like it, so <clears throat> I've tried it with, I'm going to have a go without the little nozzle, Oops. I'm just going to try and stop that from rolling off the edge there. So yeah, I just got this on eBay, it's just a, a barbecue fan, um, you know when you're starting a fire and you just need a little bit of wind, so I'm going to use that, um, <clears throat> because I'm still a bit sick, I, I just don't have the blow in me so to speak. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of this out because I've just spread it all out. Let's see if I can get a little bit more just for the middle there. All right, it's not going to not gonna work. Um, <clears throat> let's pop down a little bit of yellow first. I've put all my paints in these little squeezy bottles just to make it really easy for me to pour my paints out them on Amazon. Start with the yellow and then the magenta. These are um, <clears throat> Joe Sonia's paints. A little bit of the, whoops, open it up, a little bit of the aquamarine blue and then some turquoise. You just have to make sure that you scrape the, the dry bit off the top because it gets a bit of a skin. So just make sure that you've scraped that off before you use it. And then my cell enhancer activator, I should say, is what it's called, is uh, just Floetrol and um, Amsterdam Titanium White. <clears throat> now, everyone says you have to blow your white across the top, but I found that you actually have to blow from straight down. So let's do that with my little tool straight down into the white first and then out straight down into the white and out into the white and out into the white out into the white okay so that wasn't my best <laughs> I think I probably rushed a little bit the one I did before this I didn't rush and I really took my time, but um, I don't know. I don't know why I felt that I had to rush. So there we go. We'll just let that sit for a, a minute. Um, and I'll show you the one that I just did before. That's it there. Same colours. Um, I didn't want to go over the corners. I wanted a little bit of the, the white negative space. So we're getting some, oh, there's a hair in there. And it's getting some beautiful white. Uh, beautiful cells up in here from the white. I may just put a little bit more just uh, no I better not. I'm gonna put some more there. Oh maybe I can just a little bit where that is. It might help if I open the nozzle. Oh, that's a good one. And then as I push, as it pushes the paint up, then you lift up so that you're not putting too much pressure on it. That's a really pretty one. So I'm still having a play around with this. This is, this is my, only my second uh, time with this little barbecue thing. Um, yeah, all right, let's have a look and see if the middle wants to move yet. Oh, I need to get rid of that hair. And I've lost my tweezers. I think in my last pour where I used the tweezers, I think I put it on my piddle pad and it's probably gone. I have to buy some more tweezers. Okay, let's see if we can stretch this out. Oh, I'm 
just worried about this here. I'm going to put some more white on it. That little bit just there. And a blow. Straight down. Okay, that didn't really work. It was better without it. That's a shame. <clears throat> I always think to do these things, but obviously it's no good adding more of the cell activator afterwards. So I might just have to tip that bottom half off, hey, and see what we're left with. Now I'm going to try and keep you in frame. So I just move it a little bit like this just to get it all moving together because sometimes the middle gets stuck because you've blown down. So the paint's much thinner there. So it's all moving together now. So I'm going to take off this bottom bit. I may not take all of it off for now. See what it looks like. I can always go back. No, I can't. Probably can't go back. Let's get rid of it because I don't like it. All right, we'll stop there. And hopefully the rest of it will look a-okay. Back to the middle. And then off to the opposite corner. Oh, I'm going to lose my beautiful lacing. I might not go all the way to the corner because that is just gorgeous there. Let's see if we can just stretch it out rather than actually lose it over the edge. It takes a bit of time. With the paint you just have to go with the flow so to speak it'll take its time you just have to wait and be patient okay back the other way I just wanted it to touch that edge I guess if you don't go over the corner then you get these Kind of patterns where the paints moved because it hasn't grabbed onto the edge let's go a little bit over here just get the white over the corner and we'll go back the other way, back to the middle, and then I can do that last corner. I hope I'm still in frame. I zoomed in a little bit more than I normally do, just so that you can actually see what's happening. Okay, so I don't mind getting some of that turquoise off, but I'm going to try and keep those that lacing there on the, the side. I don't know why, but whenever I do a painting on my own, you know, the blowing is perfect. And then as soon as I do a video, I stuff it up. <laughs> I'll try again. I'll do another one. Okay, that's as much as I wanted to get off there. And let's just take it back again. Now we'll go into that corner a little bit because it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? So just bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. And then we'll go off to that corner a little bit just because it looks a bit strange having all that white on one corner and that'll open up that lacing a little bit too I don't really like what it's doing there it's kind of wobbling out of shape so let it touch that edge and then I'll bring it back and 
Okay, back into the middle a little bit, just to get our composition the way I want it. Look at that beautiful lacing. It's like lightning, isn't it? Right, I think I'll leave it about there because it's moving really, really slowly and you probably don't want to see me move paint that slow. <laughs> but let's just pop it back down. And um, what do you think? Uh, yeah, my previous one was a little bit better um, because I've got a lot of this turquoise in here. But um, it still it still has some really pretty parts, so I will definitely have another go with these same colours as well. They're really pretty. So um, I'll take it down for a little close up, and then I'm gonna do another one. I'm not going to zoom you down. I'm, going to, I'm not going to take you down. I'm just going to. Is that um, focusing? I hope so. There we go. So, uh, yeah, really happy with my little blower. Got some beautiful, beautiful lacing there. Just don't like that big turquoise section in the middle. Um, the turquoise is the only colour that's opaque. Maybe that's. Oh, but see the opaque color drops down around the other colors um, But I put a little bit too much turquoise on that's why it's kind of just set on top there But anyway, we'll have another go soon. All right. I'll see you shortly. I'll go and I'm gonna scrape this one I know I know um, and I'm just gonna use the tile again. All right. See you in a minute